If you could take a time machine back to one moment in your life and relive it, what would it be? In my life? Mm. The moment I met Mirka, why not? How did you meet her? We, we, we go all the way back to the Sydney Olympics in 2000. Is that where you also had your first date? First kiss. Oh, is that straight a first in with a kiss? Yeah, because we were, uh, you know, we were both playing for Switzerland in tennis. And then, uh, well, we spent like two weeks together, you know, in those dorms. And sort of on the last day before we all left in different directions, I guess, over the two weeks, we built up some chemistry and uh, didn't know if this was going to take us anywhere or was this just like a moment in time. But uh, it was more than just a kiss, I guess. It was uh, something that led to something extraordinary for us. and. Uh, we're very happy still yeah. to be together. Well, you were younger than she was well, as well, was so that young. took some guts. <laughs> yes, and I tried to tell her I was almost 18 and a half because she told me I was so young when she kissed me after she kissed me. I was like, well, I'm almost 18 and a half. So I tried to sneak in a it's quarter year, yeah. a quarter year. <laughs> Back in the day, that was a big, that was a big deal. Your beautiful wife was your beautiful partner. One of the early times for you coming to the Hopman Cup. To Switzerland. Yeah, um, didn't quite start here. It started actually at the Sydney Olympics, also in Australia, but that was uh, uh, almost one and a half years earlier. Um, so we were already rock solid couple. <laughs> and uh, we had a great time. Unfortunately, she was quite hurt. That's why then she ended up being uh, retiring at a uh, too young of an age. But it was a great week. And um, yeah, it was a slightly awkward playing with your. Um, with your girlfriend at the time, but we, oh. we got through it and had a good time after all. The guy, is the guy you're with, is he very nice? <laughs> yeah, he's very nice as well. <laughs> Mirko was ranked in the world's top 100 at her peak. An injury cruelly ended her career when she was just 24. She had an incredible heel problem with her foot and she could barely walk anymore at one point and she had to have surgery. She tried to come back and if her comeback would have been okay and the pain would have gone away, she would have kept playing. But she, it was just still her foot today still hurts sometimes. So um, it didn't go well for her. Uh, I think by her uh, injury that, uh, that she sustained you know, early on in her career and had to retire, unfortunately, I think her career maybe also continued in, in some shape or form with mine and because um, she's a bit older, she also had uh, more experience uh, how to, how do you say, um, uh, organize an entire tennis player's life, which I was very much a rookie and I didn't have much of an idea. America's been a great help for me. Well, I booked the hotels, flights, you know, just uh, all the equipment for Roger and transportation, media. That's what I do usually, yeah. America, tell me if this is right. At the US Open, he hit with you on the very first day you arrived. Yeah. He won that. Indian Wells, same thing happened? Yeah. He won that. <laughs> and then here in the beginning of the week, he played with you first time yeah. you got here. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> in Holla, in Holla she, she oh, yeah, knocked up uh, for the final. She knocked up with him as well. He, he played he won. unbelievable. He, he against, yeah, what was it, Marty? No, against... Um, Marty Fish? Yeah, he played against Marty. Marty? Really? Yeah. Was Wimbledon a... actually too, but it was maybe the second day. Well, all I can say is I played with him before he played Agassi in the semis, he almost lost. Oh, <laughs> so so, it's bad. oh that's bad. <laughs> bad luck. think you know it's crazy that we're every day of our lives together but at the same time I don't want to wake up anywhere else than next to her in bed you know she got me I would think a little bit from boy to man a little bit you know I mean when I met her I told her I was already 19 and a half you know, so it's a kind of this cute comment. She still uh, laughs about it today, you know, because she thought I was way too young because she's three years older than me. Uh, 
and that actually she doesn't sort of pull me away from the game of tennis and says, you know, why do you have to go practice again? Like, you know, she's like, no, don't, don't, shouldn't you practice more or shouldn't you go to bed earlier? She reminds me of the things, you know, so without her I probably wouldn't have had the success I've had and she's seen, I mean, I'd say 80, 90% of all my matches, so more than any coach I've ever had and so forth. So she's been, I mean, incredibly um, good for my um, tennis career, but also for me personally, just growing up, she's always been there and, uh, and she's been wonderful. For Mirka to be there right away and uh, just see what it meant to her, which I knew it meant a lot to her and myself, and to have that that big moment where we could just like hug it out and say like, man, it was all worth it, and to just to feel that the happiness, it was it was it was nice, it was beautiful. It was. She was definitely the one who reminded me that uh, it will pay off, and it did. She said once that when you win, she feels like she wins too. She's been the best wife, the best mom uh, to our children, and uh, yeah, she's my best friend, so we're having a great time on the road in life. Mirka has always been there every step of the way. I met her when I had no titles, today I have 103. So you can imagine how much impact he's had on me. to thank uh, my wife who endures all the travels and the packing and the helping and uh, just the support. Uh, without her it wouldn't be possible. I would like to especially thank my amazing wife Mirka, who has lived through every minute with me. She has warmed me up before finals, watched countless matches even while over eight months pregnant and has endured my goofy side on the road with my team for over 20 years. My wife's been so supportive and She could have stopped me a long, long time ago, but she didn't. She kept me going and allowed me to play, so it's amazing. Thank you.